Module 5, Discretionary Trading. Part 3, Examples of Discretionary Trading Strategies. There are many different discretionary trading strategies that traders use to make profitable trades. Here are a few examples. Trend Following. This strategy involves identifying trends in the market and buying or selling based on the direction of the trend. For example, if the market is trending upwards, a trader might buy stocks or other securities that are likely to continue rising in value. Mean Reversion. This strategy involves identifying overbought or oversold securities and taking positions based on the expectation that they will return to their average value. For example, if a stock is currently undervalued, a trader might buy it with the expectation that it will eventually return to its average value. Breakout Trading. This strategy involves identifying levels of support and resistance in the market and taking positions based on breakouts above or below these levels. For example, if a stock is trading within a certain price range, a trader might buy it if it breaks above the upper limit of that range, with the expectation that it will continue to rise. Event-Driven Trading This strategy involves taking positions based on specific events or news announcements that are likely to affect the market. For example, if a company announces positive earnings results, a trader might buy its stock with the expectation that its value will increase. Swing Trading this strategy involves taking positions based on short-term market fluctuations, typically holding securities for a few days to a few weeks. For example, a trader might buy a stock if it has recently experienced a dip in value, with the expectation that it will rebound in the near future. Overall, discretionary trading requires careful analysis and decision-making based on market conditions and the trader's own intuition. By using a variety of strategies, Traders can increase their chances of making profitable trades and achieving success in the capital markets.